to another episode of Liddy from my city. It is your boy, Dr. Liddy, and I have a very special guest today. I have my boy, D Hair Wear, i.e., Desmond Wear, i.e., The Hair, i.e., The Nose Hunter. You see the merch there? You see the merch there? Nose Hunter, Urban Legend. You know what I'm saying? This is my man's. We've been together, we 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 known each other for a couple of years now. You know what I'm saying? Off the highway. Off the highway. Yeah, I met you on the highway. From cars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Boxer extraordinaire. Yo, let me tell y'all right now, man. This man right here, this man does everything. The man, the man's a personal trainer. The man's a boxer. The man's a kickboxer. The man has merch. The man has his own radio show. The man <laughs> is part owner of a radio station. Awesome the man, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? The man does everything. You know here on Lady From My City, whenever we have a guest, it's somebody who's doing something that we feel that we need to put out there. So, well, thank yeah. you for inviting me. <laughs> appreciate it. All right, so Des, tell the people about yourself. See what I'm saying? Something I haven't already uh, thrown out there. Um, pretty much, uh, you pretty much mentioned everything. Uh, you know, shout out to Liddy TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, uh, I had to subscribe to the YouTube. I'm already subscribed to the YouTube. I mean, that's that goes without saying. We um, support our own over here. Yeah, exactly. And I do like that um, you guys have a concept about actually being experts of like drinks. You know, not just you know drinking and, and just getting drunk off of anything that burns going down. You know, like, I think um, I do. Like, Facts. I do like the concept. I like the comparisons <laughs> because there are a lot of. Alcohol experts out there. There's a lot of people that say alcohol experts. I've been drinking since I was eight years old. My granddaddy used to give me, you know, he gave me my first taste of liquor when I was coming up. I drink this, I drink that, and you know, um, you know, I learned something actually watching your, your channel is that there's different levels of cognacs, even cognacs and vodkas. A lot exactly. of people just say like, okay, I drink Henny. And you it's see, like, that's one thing we love about this channel. That's the thing. Why? That's why we started this channel. We kind of wanted to put it out there that we have a knowledge of we've we've been drinking since we was forever young, <laughs> but at the same time, we're not afraid to try new things. And I feel like a lot of people are afraid to try new things. And you know what? You got somebody that looks like us. This is like telling you, like, yo, listen, maybe you should try this. Maybe you might be willing to try something. Like I said, um, you know, like I said before, I'm in like um, fitness and boxing and stuff like that. It is kind of counterproductive, but me, I'm not competing, so it's okay <laughs> once in a while to have like, you know, to un to, to enjoy the flavors of this too. It's like, of course, it's like having a treat, like having ice cream, having ice cream, having something that you you like. Like some people like certain desserts, certain things. Exactly. Um, Everything is good enjoyed in moderation. Yeah, like you said, we have the glasses here. Exactly. We're sipping and savoring, you know, like. Um, not just drinking and okay, I'm just drinking it because it burns to go down. You know, exactly. Like, you know, nice, I guess. Enjoying the flavor, the experience. Of it. Yeah, like having like a steak dinner and people have certain type of wines and you know just going to the liquor store or buying some box wine from Key Food or something like that. You know, something that's super super flat. All right, all right. So ah, we gonna get into this whole interview and. Gonna drink some liquor. We got ourselves two different types of vodka today. We got ourselves some Belvedere Forest, and we have ourselves some High Q Rice Vodka. And we're gonna compare it, but we're mostly gonna talk about, you know what I'm saying, what my man here is doing. Because when I say, trust me. I barely scratched the surface. <laughs> this man gets no sleep. I barely scratched the surface of what he does. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to put ourselves out there. As y'all know, on this show, the guest chooses what we drink first. So what we got? What are we drinking first, man? The double deal with the high cube. So basically, you said like, so high cube is from Japan, of course, yeah. right? Okay, mm -hmm. so that's like, uh, and now, way. You know, one of the lightweight you know, fighters today. Mm -hmm. And uh, Velvet is Poland, right? Like, it looks bigger, stark, it's to the point, right? So it's yeah. like Andrew Galata. So I don't know if this is going to hit me hard, like hit me in the nuts. <laughs> this, guy's a or, fight. this guy's a this guy's a boxing with bro. I don't know. This might hit me in the nuts when like he hit Riddick Bowe. <laughs> or this might be smooth. 
you know, like in our way and, and be, you know, slick and technical. I think it's nice to have, it's nice out tonight. It's no, you know, I thought today was gonna be 90 degrees, so it's no black air force energy out today. No black. So I'm gonna go with the haku first. I'm gonna try the rice vodka first to see how it goes. All right, so we got the rice vodka first, man. Everybody pours their own poison in, so you know what I'm saying you, you choose how much or how little you want. And while we do that, you know what I'm saying we're gonna talk about again. We're gonna get into my man's dust here, because that's it. Entrepreneur extraordinaire. All right, so. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you got a radio show. You're part owner of a black owned radio station, e, -ro e radio station, Balls and Hoops Radio. Yes. They have their own app. You know what I'm saying? So, ballsandhoopsradio.com if you're on your computer or download the Balls and Hoops Radio app. I'm an avid listener. I listen and call in all the time. The content is either hilarious or very informative or, you know what I'm saying, it's just, just niggas talking shit back and forth with good music I mean, playing in the background. BS with a BS is, you know, my show. Uh, mm -hmm. Myself and co-host Sonia, Sonia Blade, she's also uh, a self-employed and a uh, tow truck owner oh. so, from Queensbridge. Uh, very uh, unique story. Um, I am a co-owner of Boston's Radio, so we have multiple podcast so we're, we're a radio station that has multiple podcasts we have six in-house djs and uh more to come so you know it's uh you know we just started two years ago mm -hmm. uh I, I was gravitated towards your page because some of my partners all drinkers they love tito's <laughs> so i saw tito's i saw so you guys were talking comparing tito's to ciroc yeah ciroc blue and i'm like oh man uh, one of my partners saw i said he's, he's he was an avid drinker of tito's to me, I wasn't a fan of it, but, um, you know. Yeah, we're okay with Tito's here. Yeah. But there's better stuff out there, my opinion. So, but people have their preference. So, you know, um, definitely uh, thank you for having me on. I oh, definitely, yeah. Um, I, yeah, no doubt. Bro. I do, this is a long time coming. I definitely uh, haven't had a good drink in a while. And, um, you know, I do do a lot of things. Um, I'm a former... EMTB, uh, Dubu Guaya Community College, I was in EMT 18, um, I did some TV work, a uh, movie that you probably saw, I mean, I, I played a diplomat in a movie called Salt, <laughs> oh, with yeah. Angela and Jolie, um, my mother did it, she got me the game, she did a reenactment of Mori, a woman that got shot in the face, oh boy, um, I was a personal trainer from uh, 19 around the same time, I've been in the industry uh, since 2006, uh, Oh gee, yeah. So I've been man there. knows what he's doing. You see, he's fit. <laughs> Give me more fit. Got a little injury, but it's all good. I know we all practice, uh, you know, Japanese jiu jitsu when I went to like boxing. Uh, you know, train the kickboxing. So you know, um, the boy you know, got hands. I do a lot of things. <laughs> so right, so right now, I'm you know, I'm just doing a lot of boxing coaching um, and uh, it's still it's still personal training. And you know, being able to work as exercise specialist, I, I worked at um, well, I still still do at uh, Goldman Sachs in the gym. So okay. right now I have a little knee injury, so you know, I, I'll probably have to be at work soon. So, so I'm relaxing, man, just enjoying a good drink, and Ain't nothing wrong with that. See how it is, man. But it smells very good. You know, let's see. I'll take a little sip and see how it all goes. Let's see how it goes. And now wait. And now wait. How cool. Is there a wrestler called Haku? In WWF, right? The, the, the big pro? What's that? Yeah, it was like Simone Haku. Yeah, he was like, uh, yeah, I think his name was like Haku. Yeah. Yeah, he, I'm not that big of a wrestling guy. Shout out to WWE. Shout out to this man. This is right here. This, is, this hits. <laughs> this, this, this is definitely going to hit hard. Oh, yeah, it will. It's not, um, it's kind of strong. It's kind of strong. It's but a bit it's, strong. It's a bit on the sweet side, but it's smooth. It's smooth. It hits it's strong. It's not that bad. Now, now I just say I don't know. Maybe the you know the next one. That to me, I'm a little worried about because boy, it's gonna hit you in the nuts like you know, Eh, I'm not too worried about it. We're big fans of Belvedere here, so I'm pretty sure you'd be alright. Now we talked about like, you know cheap lockers. Uh, these these don't look cheap at all. These look very. Uh, decent price, but yeah, a little reason, bit on a higher. A little price. bit on the higher. The velvet is a bit on the higher, and the high Q is a little bit more price. And I know where you're going. I don't. I let, 
we don't <laughs> we don't speak the G word on this channel. Ah, the G word. We uh, don't <laughs> speak the G word on this channel. With the models in the bikinis. That's we the only, that's, that's the only okay. It, it, if you're buying vodka for fifteen dollars for a gallon in a plastic bottle, you know what we're talking about, and we do not speak of that on this channel, sir. I mean, that's like sheer bombing. I think didn't the Egyptians have bomb bodies with it though, like back in the day? I, I think like uh, I think the uh, <laughs> they embalm mummies with that. The G word, right? Listen, like, <laughs> I don't want to know where it came from. All I know is. <laughs> I don't want no boxing. They sponsor boxing events too. I see their post. I see their poster all the place with the women in bikinis. Of course, like, because after you drink it, you become all kinds of aggressive. You <laughs> all you want to do is box. I mean, that's like. I mean, the only people I really see with that G word of that, uh, you know, that we must not say. Uh, people that drive Chrysler three hundreds today, first gen, and um, Dodge Charger first gen. <laughs> With the 3.6. <laughs> the 3.5. Oh, the 3.5. Oh, the 3.6 is the, is, the, is the one that's upgraded. Okay. Yeah, the 3.5. High works. output. That never works. <laughs> Either way, we got through the high queue. It was okay in my taste. I've had better vodka, but this is my first time trying a rice vodka. And now we're going to get to the Belvedere. And talk more about it. I want to. I want to. I want to hear more about that nose hunter, man. Where that came from, bro. Ah, um, I, all right. So I'm gonna go a little before. Cause I that because that's very suggestive, right there. We done had the high Q. Now it's time for the Belvedere. Sheesh. While I am pouring the Belvedere, tell me about that nose hunter brand, man. So uh, the concept of the nose hunter, because I'm a uh, you know, I've had two fights and uh, two exhibitions, but I've been a mainly a, a sparring partner for, you know, different fighters, MMA guys, boxers, kickboxers. Um, a lot of times with MMA guys, I would do like boxing work with them, mm -hmm. uh, just to get the, the hands sharp enough, you know what I mean? Because I know some how to kick and I know to, you know, defend against kicks and takedowns. Mm -hmm. um, so the nose hunter thing really started because I trained my, uh, my coach, my coach uh, Keith Rushmore, in uh, Best Style Brooklyn, uh, private release, second generation coach. Brooklyn. Yeah. Stop fly, baby. He used to always say, like, I had a good jab. So my jab is probably one of my strongest attributes. I was, you know, I very long wingspan, I've got a fat jab. And he said, you know, don't worry about those guys rushing you. You go upside the nose a couple of times, they're going to stop coming forward. And uh, <laughs> I saw saying, okay, well, that's that's funny, though. I always found that funny. He said, you go upside that nose, I'm going to start watering everything. And it worked. And I used to spar guys and snap their head. I used to punch through guys. I used to jab guys and punch through the nose guard. And they used to bleed. So I, I always had the same. Well, every gym I go to and spar guys, somebody's going to be bleeding because I'm going to punch the nose and the blood's going to start bleeding. Which is true. I mean, Queens, Brooklyn, you know, Manhattan. Um, now, I'm, um, I got, I'm part of the car community as well. Mm -hmm. And I got into a little, little tussle with a... <laughs> Individual in the car community. I'm not gonna mention his name. He's very, he's a very, he's, he's, he's a very popular <laughs> big guy. And um, I know you talked about um, too. <laughs> this started with a Nissan shop that was operating out of um, Nassau County, like a mm -hmm. Nissan shop. Uh, they, they specialize in a certain Nissan car. I'm not gonna say what type of car it is because then people attract me. Yeah, people people attract that exactly who it is. About. And, so this all started on Facebook, and you know they ripped me off twelve hundred bucks. Uh, couldn't get a KA motor, a truck motor started. One thing I do is turn the distributor. But that's something else. Um, so this was all talk. I used to be part of uh, New York BMW. I used to be a BMW. I used to have an E30 BMW, mm -hmm. 91 to 18 uh, square body. Mm -hmm. And uh, this wow. all started talk on the internet, and people started instigating. And I used to play games like Fight Night, and I used to play with Sonny Liston and Fight Butterbean, and. They'll say, this dude's Butterbean, and I'm Sonny Liston, and he's going to wash me up. <laughs> it's on Instagram. So, hence 2013, um, that all came to an end because someone lied on me and said that I was talking trash about the dude and all this stuff. So, he built himself up. I'm not going to say what type of uh, Japanese little car that he drove. Um, seven punches later, some trash talk. 
I hit him with a jab in the mouth, caught him with a right hand, and when I hit him with the right hand, his glasses split and cut his nose open. So as you see here, um, I've always had good aim. So these are both my hands. I broke this hand. I'm sorry, before I drink and take a sip of this drink. Mm -hmm. drink. So this knuckle is, is bigger than this one, as you see on camera. Um, I broke my hand on his head. He punched through him. And the is nose was said. bleeding, so the nose was down like this. So this is where the blood comes from, because the blood was here. <laughs> and I hit him, he spun on my boy um, Carl when I hit him with the right hand. I hit him with a jab, and hit him with the right hand. Bing! And then, he, and then when I hit him with the, when I hit him with the right hand, he spun, he tried to get him a headlock. And then I threw over him right, I turned it, and hit his jaw. And then the next one I threw, hit his head, and it broke. But I kept throwing punches, I didn't know it broke. I probably could have used some hot food, because I probably would have kept punching because I probably wouldn't have felt it. You know, I told uh, you, man, my boy, <laughs> the boy got ass. So, <laughs> was I hit? No. Um, <laughs> Flawless victory. So this is where my logo is nose. I believe in hands up, guns down. There's too many guys out here shooting people right now. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be 90, 90 degrees today, and it was going to be a lot of black Air Force energy. I probably wasn't going to even come today. I was planning to stay home. <laughs> I will do some Uber Eats. I said, it's too dangerous out here, man. It's, very, it's very dangerous. I saw three dangerous. I saw three first generation um, Dodge Chargers and one Chrysler 300. I'm like, wow, these are still running. One Dodge Magnum. I said, it's like like, like a signal, like Nostradamus. It's very dangerous out here. So, you know. Um, black Air Forces. A for it, jackets. So, so I sold this. I sold my golden jeans. It's 2021. So I sold this shirt jeans. for those people who wear black Air Forces. It's clothing with a feel, right? It is. Be an urban legend. <laughs> be an urban legend. Because be everybody a has, has a chance to be a nose hunter. They had it coming. Wear a shirt with that. Walk through the neighborhood. Somebody, it's all crazy. You check that. Exactly. exactly. We don't advocate violence no, we don't. on this chat. However, there are some individuals that have it coming. They don't learn. And they don't learn. You try to take the peaceful route, and they're not trying to hear that. Drink responsibly, too. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> let's try this, man. Andrew Galata. Andrew Galata. Um, this is great. Let's a little more. Get you started on this pizza. Mm. Uh, great. Um, so what do you think, man? Which one do you think, Jake? Um, like I said, uh, Anawe uh, versus Andrew Galata. Um, this is a lightweight. Um, it, 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 it's a little bit more dynamic. It, 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 mm. it's, it's, it's like hot. It's like, it's like smooth, but it, like, it kicks. It's tangy. It has different. It has different body. The body of it is a little bit different. That's you true. know what I mean. So it's a little bit more complex. Like it's a little bit lighter, and but it's a little bit more complex. Exactly. Like I would. I would drink. I wouldn't drink this by itself. Like I would have a meal with it. Like it's one of those drinks that you would have a meal with. Mm -hmm. um, drink it casually. Of course, if you drink a lot of it and hit it fast, so you're gonna get. <laughs> well, I mean, if you drink a lot of anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's one of those things. Now the Belvedere. It's heavy. It's heavy, like it it, it, it punches hard. It, it's you know, like I said, it's, it's one to the nose. It's one to the nose right here. Um, nothing less. If you if you're not someone that can really take it, you can. This is something you can drink straight. It is. Um, you can have a cocktail, I guess, with it, like mixed drink, like maybe nothing less than simply orange juice, please. We're not doing Tampico. We're not we're doing. Not, we're not. Tropical Fantasy we're or we're, we're doing no yellow fob. We're trying to have children. That's a joke, just in case y'all don't understand. Like, yes, we understand that tropical fantasy isn't... You know what? I shouldn't even have to explain that. But, <laughs> which one do you... Which one are you picking as the winner, sir? Because you have explained why you like each of them. Which one do you pick as the winner? See, the thing about it, if I really was into that, you know... Lifestyles so like that, I mm -hmm. would say this gets the job done. Mm -hmm. If you just want to get something quick, you don't want to drink too much, but you want to be really lit. Mm -hmm. This here, over there. Okay. If you want to be sophisticated, have something to drink, a nice restaurant, some sushi, different things like that. I would have to go with me, honestly, for every day. It's like how we have cars. Haku. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the Haku. 
Um, but the high kill. Yeah, I have to. This is cool, but I don't want to get hit in the nuts every time I have a drink. This is, this is good. <laughs> Andrew Galata and Nawe. Nawe, exactly. Light is. Okay, okay. Well, I personally, and you know what? That's the beauty of about, that's the beauty about alcohol. Everybody has their own different tastes, and it's very subjective. Now, he prefers the high Q. I personally prefer the Belvedere because I like getting punched in my nuts. <laughs> I am a masochist. <laughs> yes, baby. You go right on ahead. You strap that. You strap that leather suit. You get the crop, That's and you stuff. meet me in the bedroom. That's the Belvedere right here. But you see us in a black box. <laughs> She's got the black suit on. Exactly. But see, I like this. This is a nerd right here. This is the it, cool. This is the nerd right here. <laughs> She's got a little, you know, this hidden lens there. And um, I like the IQ. You can take it everywhere. Exactly. It's just like, okay, let's take it from car instance, right? Which is more embarrassing? <laughs> I know where you're going. G so, like, okay, this black right here is like a G37. It's big. It's heavy. <laughs> you get a lot of you get a lot of you get a lot of car for your G37 money. G thirty seven guy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's a G thirty seven. It's uh -huh. cool. Whatever. I drive a Hyundai Genesis. <laughs> so yes, I do not have all the noise. I don't have the rattling or all the thing of this. Like because this is going to be a fun ride. It doesn't rev as high. But who knows? I put the panoramic roof back. I chill. Makes it slightly little bit less horsepower, but it comes with a V8. But the V8 is still smooth. And you ride out. And I ride out. This, dip it, help Parkway. <laughs> it's, you're, you're trying really to have a Saturday night. So, Dr. Liddy, which one's smoother? Smoothness overall. Smoothness overall. Honestly, smoother. The Belvedere is smoother to me because. It's a little bit heavier. The high Q is a little bit lighter on its feet, as he said. But I taste a little bit of an afterburn with the bell with, with the high Q, sorry. And the Belvedere, I do taste a slight burn, but it's not as bad as with the high Q. So personally, again, my choice is the Belvedere. His choice is the high Q. We agree to disagree. Definitely. However. Now the high Q, I want to say this too, since I'm no runner. Yeah. Um, right here, I do see what the afterburn effect is right here. It's in your chest, it's in your sinuses. Honestly, you don't even need a vaccine, honestly. Right? <laughs> because right here, this you say you so breathe in the corona, that shit it, it burn right out. You're not gonna have no corona. It's gonna burn right out. <laughs> this is not gonna, it's not gonna even enter your body with Belvedere. Belvedere, it will, it will stay out there. The droplets and all that stuff will be exactly gone, so. Um, yeah, I do. I do hear what you're saying about the afterburn. I do agree with you a little bit with the end. There's no after kick with this. This there has a strong. None. This has a strong after kick. It like does. Yeah, it's, it's strong. So basically, we agree to disagree that it's not real time, but it goes on preference, which happens before. And there's no problem with that because, as I said before, taste is subjective. So. You want something smooth with a little kick? You got velvet in. You want something light that you can enjoy? Also with a bit of a stronger kick, a bit of a burn? You got high Q. G37, I mean G37, Genesis cool. <laughs> However you want to put it, it's Wings Liddy coming at you again. It's Dr. Liddy and the Nose Hunter, i.e. the urban legend, i.e. the, the hair. Piece. I eat Mr. Two Piece. I eat the man. Yo, you know what? We from New York. All of us got like ten thousand nicknames. <laughs> Either way, just remember to keep it litty for your city and drink responsibly. And yes, don't sir. drink without driving, please. It's dangerous. We don't do that. Do not drink and drive. Bad idea.